Lorena Gonzalez chairs the city council committee in charge of public safety. So she said the allegations that surfaced today are concerning to say the least. She also feels they highlight a bigger issue that must be addressed within the Seattle Police Department. Almost every day, you'll find off-duty Seattle police officers directing traffic at parking garages and construction sites throughout the city. Secondary employment that's now under more scrutiny than ever before. I first became aware of the fact that there's an FBI investigation into these off-duty work practices today. Police Chief Kathleen O'Toole confirmed the news on Wednesday that she's asked the FBI to investigate possible criminal conduct by at least one of her officers. You see, last year, the police department endorsed a startup company called Blucadia. So Blucadia is um, an open marketplace that allows customers who have never been able to have access to police before off duty to easily post a job. SPD hoped the partnership would bring more transparency to the hiring of off duty officers and allow for better tracking of the hours they work, something SPD leadership has expressed concern about in the past. But Blucadia's co-founder claims the police union quickly made it clear the company's services weren't wanted. Our CEO received an intimidating phone call that had very little context other than um, a lot of verbal abuse and intimidation. Um, that alone was a concern to us. Blucadia reported that alleged intimidation to SPD, and Chief O'Toole then reported it to the FBI. Meanwhile, at City Hall, although Councilmember Lorena Gonzalez didn't learn about the FBI investigation until today, she says the management of officers' off duty work is an ongoing and frustrating issue. So it's just a a failure of understanding who is working off duty, a failure of understanding and being able to track how many hours are being worked. She points to this audit done in April of 2016 and says it contains specific recommendations for SPD to change its policies regarding secondary employment. But Gonzalez says that never happened and she's calling on Chief O'Toole to explain why. And it's my expectation that um, this chief and her command staff will pivot swiftly to reporting to city council and to our new mayor how uh, how she plans to implement those recommendations. Now in response to Councilmember Gonzalez's concerns, SPD leadership points out it was the chief who requested that audit in 2016. The department saying Chief O'Toole has been proactive at addressing issues surrounding secondary employment, but they say she needs the help of city partners to get it done. Much more on this story over on kink5.com. We should also mention the police union known as the Seattle Police Officers Guild did not respond to our request today for comment. For now live tonight in the newsroom, Heather Graff, King 5 News.